Welcome to day seven of the eight days of world oceans. I'm Henry Huntington, Arctic Science Director for Ocean Conservancy, and I'm presenting on behalf of Blue Scholars Initiative and the Arctic Ocean. Ocean Conservancy works around the world and around the U.S. to promote ocean health. My work concerns the Arctic Ocean and the waters surrounding Alaska, where I live. Here we work on many matters concerning ocean health. Alaska has some of the nation's richest fisheries. We work to make sure that both fisheries and the ecosystem stay productive and healthy. Sometimes this means setting appropriate catch limits and restricting fishing gear that can be used. Sometimes it means not fishing at all, especially in places where we know too little to achieve sustainable fisheries. Arctic waters are seeing an increase in commercial shipping. We help make sure that the rules and practices that govern Arctic shipping provide adequate protection for the environment and for the traditional activities of indigenous peoples who live along Arctic coasts. We also work to promote indigenous-led conservation, recognizing the strong and continuing relationships between indigenous peoples and their waters and the depth of their knowledge and commitment to the well-being of the ecosystems of which they are part. The Arctic Ocean is facing additional threats. The biggest threat to both the Arctic and all our oceans is climate change. In the past few decades, the Arctic Ocean has lost nearly half of the sea ice that used to cover it even at the end of summer. That's half in terms of area. The sea ice is also thinner, so we've lost three quarters of the volume of ice that used to be there. This kind of change is affecting plankton, fishes, seabirds, marine mammals, and indigenous communities. The loss of ice also affects the whole world. Less ice means more open water. Open water absorbs more sunlight, leading to more warming, leading to less ice. You can see where this is going. The Arctic Ocean is changing even faster than scientists predicted just a few years ago. We should all be concerned. Many things can help keep the Arctic Ocean healthy. The biggest thing any of us can do individually is to reduce our carbon footprint. The average American is responsible for about 16 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. Scientists have calculated that those 16 tons result in the loss of an additional 50 square meters, or about 550 square feet, of Arctic sea ice. Please adopt an ice flow by reducing your carbon emissions as much as you can. Thank you.